The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyonga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning section. I am Madame Menongong Karin, your marketing teacher. I will be taking you for sales method and communication from three marketing, the commercial section. For the overview of this lesson, we are going to be looking at the general presentation of the syllabus, the learning outcomes, the previous knowledge. For the general presentation of the syllabus, we are going to see the first lesson, we are going to see the seller, who is a seller, and what is selling. What is the mission of a salesperson? What, is the, the, what are the qualities of a good salesperson? What is the sales process? In the second lesson, we are going to be seeing consumer and customer reception slash support. Here, we are going to see who is a consumer, who is the customer. How the customer is being uh, received in a shop by the salesperson. Then lesson three, we are going to see distribution process. How the goods reach to the final consumer. How the goods move from the, where it is produced to when it reaches the final consumer. In our fourth lesson, we are going to be seeing the commercial communication process. So we are going to see how the company gets in contact with its customers. What are the various uh, means the company uses to meet its final uh, consumers? In the fifth lesson, we are going to see the face-to-face -face communication. How the salesperson deals directly with its customer. So that is it. In our sixth lesson, we are going to see our sales methods. What are the methods that we use for our product to be bought by the consumer? For, our, for the consumer to actually uh, 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 buy our product. For our seventh lesson, we are going to see the banking system. What are the various banking systems that a company can use or the customer can also use to make payment to the company. In our, the eighth lesson, we are going to see the communication tools and, te and telephone communication. What are the tools that the company uses to get in contact to its customers or in order to communicate with its customers? And then the last lesson, the ninth lesson we are going to see in Form 3 will be the presentation of the so, after all this, after communication, after all the marketing has, is being done, how now does the salesperson present the product to the customer in the shop or the sales point? So, topic and subtopic for the subject, sales method and communication. First, the seller. We are going to see selling. What is selling? And who is a seller? 
What is the mission of a seller? What are the duties of a seller? We are going to also see the qualities of a good salesperson. We are going to see the selling process. What are the process that the salesperson use in order to sell the product? Or for the goods to reach the final consumer? For the second lesson, which is the consumer and customer reception and support, we are going to see the definition of concepts. That is, how, who is a consumer and a customer? Sources of consumer information, motivations and breaks of consumers. What motivates the consumer to buy? What can make the consumer not to buy a product? Consumer protection. How is the consumer protected? The company should not sell goods that are harmful to the consumer. Customer reception. How do the salesperson or the company receive it? Customers. Reformulation. For the third lesson, we are going to see how the products are being distributed in the market. So he, here in the third lesson, we are going to see definition, rule and importance of distribution. We are going to see the distribution channels, forms of distribution, that is independent trade partner. We are going to see the distribution regulation, forms of sale, wholesale and retail selling. In the fourth lesson, we are going to see the summary study on commercial communication. Under this, we are going to have definition of communication, goals, stroke objectives. We are going to see the promotional techniques, which are advertising, sales promotion, personal selling, etc. In the fifth lesson, we are going to see face-to-face -face communication, definition, diagram of the communication process. That is, we, are, we see the sender of the information, the, receive, the receiver of the message, the feedback that we get after uh, communication, the communication channels, etc. Next, we are going to see the different communication situations, internal, and external. Next, we are going to see the methods of communication, whether it's verbal communication or non-verbal communication. Next, we are going to see the uh, communication difficulties. In the sixth lesson, we are going to see sales method. Under sales method, we are going to see the contact, the contact selling, the visual sales, and distance selling. In the seventh lesson, we are going to see the banking system. The notion under the banking system, we are going to see the notion of banking, definition and rule of banking, classification, types of banks, banking operations, monetary regulatory, the regulatory authorities in Cameroon. Bank credits, in bracket loans, definition and importance, types of credit, microfinancial institutions. In the eighth lesson, we are going to see the communication tools and telephone communication. Under communication tools and telephone communication, we are going to see oral communication, which is telephone. Services, drive from the, uh, services derived from the telephone. Written, visual, and audio, and audiovisual communication. That is telex, fax, telex, and fax. We are going to see the attitude and behavior towards business calls. And the last lesson, which is the preparation of the sale. In this lesson, we are going to see to, 
how we search information on the offer, how the customer profile and, competi uh, and competition We are going to see the product presentation and uh, sales pitch and arguments. Learning outcome of the syllabus. This, the students after this lesson should be, will be able to describe the seller, his missions and qualities. His missions and qualities. Identify the motivations and obstacles of the consumer. Sketch the distribution structure. Identify the different sales methods and compare them. Welcome and support the client. Identify the different techniques and tools of communication. Prepare the sale of products or services, promote the sale of products or services, distinguish and use communication tools. The objectives of this lesson, students will understand selling, the seller, duties of the salesperson, qualities of a salesperson, and the sales process in the first lesson. In the second lesson, students will have an understanding of the consumer and customer reception, sources of consumer information, motivation and breaks of consumer, consumer protection, consumer reception, and formulation. In the third lesson, students will understand the role and importance of distribution, distribution channels, forms of distribution, distribution regulations, and forms of sales. In the fourth lesson, students will define communication, state its goals and objectives, and explain promotional techniques, method of communication, and communication difficulties. In the fifth lesson, the students will understand the diagram of the communication process. Explain different communication situations. State the different uh, channels of uh, communication. In the sixth uh, lesson, sixth lesson, students will understand contracts of selling, visual sales, and distance selling. In the seventh lesson, students will understand the notion of banking, bank credit, that is loans, and microfinance institutions. In the eighth lesson, students will understand all communications, written, visual, and audio, and audiovisual communication, and attitude and behavior towards business calls. In the ninth lesson, students will be able to select information relating to offer to the customer's profile of the cashman area, present a company's product, and compare the point of sales offer with that of a close competitor. So that is it for our lesson, for, for, the, for the objectives of the syllabus. So for the first topic we have is the seller. Presentation of the subtopic. Selling and this, the subtopic, selling and seller mission and duties. Lessons title, we are going to have the definition of concept, mission, duties of the seller. We are going to have the qualities of a salesperson. We are going to have the sales processes. This, we are going to see all this in two presentations. Let's start with our first lesson. The first lesson we have today is the definition of concepts. 
for the seller. This, this, for, sell, for selling the seller. The mission of the salesperson, duties of the seller. For the, the plan for this lesson, we are going to have the learning outcomes, previous knowledge, problem statement, learning activities, summary, exercise, and homework. For the learning outcome of this lesson, we are going to define selling and describe who is a seller as applied in real life situations. We are going to explain the benefits of selling activities in real life situations. What are the advantages of selling? Why do we sell? State the types of sales jobs available to sales people. As sales students, as marketing students, what kind of job can you obtain for yourself in future? So we are going to see that. State the duties of a seller in our day-to-day -day life situations. State the qualities of a good salesperson. We are going to see that all this in this lesson. In our previous knowledge, you are, good, you are supposed to know what are business activities. All the activities that we carry out as marketers. You are supposed to know them. You are supposed to know all buying activities. You are supposed to know all selling activities. You are supposed to know all distribution activities. You are supposed to know products and services. You are supposed to know the consumer and the customer. So that is it for our previous knowledge. Now, let's look at the, our problem statement. Why are we looking at the uh, seller? What, why are we looking at selling the seller? Why are we looking at the mission of a salesperson and the duties? It's because there, there is a problem. So when a teacher talks about selling, many in the quarters or around you live around your living environment things only about products we sold, we sell in our shops or markets. But that is not the case. So as this lesson unfolds, we are going to see what we expect when we talk of, is of selling. Your friend who tells you to go and watch a football match during the 20s, 22 Kanda we are going to be having in Cameroon next uh, year, January next year, is selling the game of football to you. So that is selling. Selling occurs whenever a person, that is a seller, tries to convince another person who is the customer to do something or act in a certain way when he or she has money, because selling cannot be done without money. Sel salespeople use selling skills to convince others to buy their products in order to achieve their selling mission while performing their duties, because we cannot sell without achieving our mission. If not, we, we are going to go out of the market slowly. So that's why salespeople must use their selling skills so that while they are convincing the customer, they should also make profit or achieve their objectives. For the learning activities from the application above, explain to Dora and, Dor and Darren, your classmates, the following, selling and seller. Benefits of selling to the seller, types of sales jobs, duties of the seller, qualities of a good salesperson, qualities, qualities of a good salesperson. Definition of selling. Selling is a personal communication of information 
to persuade a prospective customer to buy something that is good service and idea which satisfy the individual's needs because somebody cannot buy something that do not satisfy his or her needs you buy because you want to satisfy your need for instance you in, in the morning you need to take tea you discover that you don't have sugar you go to the nearest store in your quarter to buy sugar it's because you want to satisfy that needs because you don't want to take a tea that is not sweet so the next, we are going to have definition of seller. This is an individual representing a company to customers by performing one or more of the following activities. Prospecting, communicating, selling, advertising, information gathering, and relationship building. Benefits of selling. Skills and knowledge from selling can be applied in many other fields like journalism, law, etc. Interpersonal skills acquired from selling puts the seller in an advantage position in the society. Selling helps sellers to overcome challenges in their sales career. Selling, acknowledge, selling knowledge gives an individual the opportunity of starting a business and the freedom of being on its own. Selling offers variety of selling jobs to young Cameroonians such as sales, retail salespersons, wholesale salespersons, manufacturer salespersons. So those are the sales jobs that a salesperson can obtain. Types of sales jobs. You have the retail sales job where you sales, you sell in bid. The salesperson sells in bid to the consumer or in smaller quantities to the consumer. You have the wholesale sales people. These are sales people that sell in bulk, means in large quantities, to customers. You have manufacturer sales re representatives. These are uh, salesperson that represents the manufacturer. When a manufacturer manufactures his or her product, they help to sell the product for the manufacturer. Those are wholesale sales uh, manufacturers' representatives. Duties of the sellers. So what are the duties of a seller? Sellers link the company with its customers. Sellers represent their companies in the eyes of customers. They find and develop new customers, facilitate sales and process payments. Sellers approach customers, present their products, handle objections, negotiate, and pr negotiate prices and terms of trade, and close sales. Qualities of a good salesperson. As a good salesperson, you must have a physical presentation, a good physical presentation. You must have a good knowledge of the company's product. You cannot sell what you don't know. Proper knowledge of customers' needs. Sales persons must be polite, must be very anxious to make sales, must be courageous even in the most resistant, resistance segments, must process and communicate, must process a good communication skills, be able to handle challenges. So let's move straight to our application exercise. The sales uh, the sales managers of uh, Kamle Limited Cameroon specialize in the, pro in the production and sale of processed food has given you the task of employing 10 salespersons to sell the company's product in Yaoundé. Application exercise state three benefits of selling to salespersons in Kamle Limited Cameroon. List four duties and three qualities you expect these salespersons to perform for the company in Yaoundé. Answer to the application exercise, three benefits of selling. Selling helps sellers to overcome challenges in their sales career. Selling offers variety of sales jobs to young Cameroonians. Selling 
knowledge, gifts, and individual, the opportunity of starting a business and freedom of being on its own. Answers to application exercise, exercise for four duties of a seller. Seller link the consumer with its customer. Sellers represent the company in the eyes of customers. They find and develop new customers, facilitate sales and process payments. Three qualities of a seller. Sell, sales person must be polite, must be very anxious to make sales, must be courageous even in the most resistant segment. Homework. For your homework today, I would like you to define selling and explain the goals of selling. State five qualities of a professional salesperson. If you want to read further or before the or ahead of the teacher, you can go to the following books. You have you can uh, consult the following books. You have Selling, Building, Partnership, Fit Edition, Irwin McGraw, McGraw Hill. You can also read Marketing Essentials from uh, Glenn Co. McGraw, McGraw Hill Edition. For our next lesson, we are going to be talking about the selling process, the step we have in the selling process. Manetambia ninyane injo biayen 